Okay, guys, I'm going to be breaking down this video of Samara's first e-collar training session. So I did this after Samara had already been wearing the collar for uh, a week or two. And this is her very first time feeling the stimulation. What I'm using here is level one out of 21 levels. And I'm not telling her what to do. I'm not expecting anything out of her. I'm simply stimming on the lowest level that she that she knows that she perceives and I'm pairing it up with food as well as backing away as you see me backing away you see the prompts the prompts on the screen are the representation of when I'm stimming and for how long I'm stimming so I'm using lowest level stimulation backing away giving her some food that's the thing about the e-collar is it's a it gives a stimulation that is non-directional and nothing in nature replicates what the e-collar feels like to the dog. So if they're not properly introduced to the e-collar, it could be very stressful and it can be very confusing to the dog and to the owner if the owner doesn't know what they're doing either. So here I'm just pairing it up with just food. You'll see the second training session here in a little bit, which I'll show you the second training session after we've done this for a little bit of time. We then do something slightly different, but this is just simple. I'm having her on a, on a short leash and I'm just backing away, feeding, backing away. So stem back away, feed, stem back away, feed for a brief period of time. And you'll see, you see how long I, I, I stem for. Now the next session coming up here in a little bit, I'm actually going to be doing some formal obedience so you notice i'm holding the stimulation a little bit longer and i'm letting it go when she commits when she makes the decision to come in my direction that's important to know that i'm not teaching her what the recall is in this session i've already she's already been taught what the recall is my wife has worked on it and she has a pretty decent idea of what the recall is she has plenty of reward history of, as to what that is which is why i'm using it in this session if she didn't know what a recall was this would be a very very chaotic session because i would be doing two things at the same time so you'll see here and the stimulation here because it's the lowest possible level i'm using it to pair up the the this feeling with her coming back to me and getting paid the stimulation at this point is not a correction remember it's the lowest possible level so it's not a correction it's the lowest possible level she's learning a brand new language and i'm doing it with the lowest possible level so this video is showing you two sessions two different days the first two minutes it's just 10 feet now I'm pairing it up with something she knows so here I'm gonna use this opportunity and you notice I'm holding the stimulation for a little bit longer until she commits in my direction if she were to not commit in my direction I would simply use the leash and help her out but as you see here there's no confusion the dog is not stressed out this is a session in which Samara is winning that's how I want to do it I want this to be a good session I want it to make sense to the dog. For it to make sense to the dog, it has to make sense to me. That's one way to condition the collar. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe and follow me on the other platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and your favorite podcast platform. See you guys in the next video.